what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing the louis vuitton toiletry pouch and if you guys are interested then definitely stick around and let's get right into the video so this is my louis vuitton toiletry pouch i got it in the size 26 i believe it comes in 19 21 and 26 and 26 is the largest size they make it's really one piece of canvas that's folded so you have one side that's upside down and then it's folded over so one side is right side up it's sealed with this thin zipper at the top that has a lv stamp at the zipper and a vachetta trim at the end inside the leather is this really pretty cream color which complements the outside of the bag really nicely i'd say because you can see it when the bag is zipped up i think this bag is perfect if you're really looking to get a piece of luxury that you can wear as like a statement piece but you don't have to spend a lot. This is one of the cheaper luxury items that will still look just as good as the bigger price tag items. I know it retails for around 410 US dollars and it's a heavily sought after bag. I really like it because I feel like it's very, very timeless. It's just never gonna go out of style. And it looks so chic with all of my outfits, regardless of the color, regardless of the style. It just always looks good no matter what I wear it with. I know a lot of people buy this just to wear it as a clutch. I like to wear it as a clutch, but I also think it's very handy if you have larger bags. Sometimes I like to just put my things that will kind of float around in a larger bag into this and then put this in my larger tote bags and it works so well. It also works really good when I'm actually traveling and I use it for its purpose or if I want to put it in a book bag or something like that. It works so good for all those things and just holds everything that's really small in place. I've had it for about two years now and it's maintained its shape perfectly. When it's empty, it still stands upright. It hasn't bent, it hasn't folded. It's really, really durable. I've spilled stuff on it before. I don't know how, but especially wearing it in the winter, sometimes I've gotten salt on it or other weird random things, but I can just take a wet cloth and wipe it off and it comes off super easy and the inside can also be easily wiped out because it's leather and not a cloth. I'd say it holds its shape very, very well. Even though it's not super thick, I think it's done a pretty good job of maintaining its structure. I think the size is perfect. It's not too big, but it's not too small. So you can get a good amount of stuff in, but you're not having a hard time carrying it around. Your canvas over time will change colors. I know I've seen a lot of them on the real real that are super dark. Mine luckily hasn't had that problem. It's still the color it was when I originally got it. You can't keep a ton of stuff inside because obviously there's just not that much room, but I can fit all my essentials. If you're thinking about getting this bag and you're undecided, I highly, highly recommend. I love it. It's super easy to grab on the go and it just looks so good when you're on the night out or you're just headed to brunch or you just want to grab something small. I've worn it everywhere and I just think it's the perfect statement, affordable, luxury good. Now let me give you guys a quick tour of what's inside my bag. So the first thing I have is, of course, my phone. I have the iPhone XS Max and it fits perfectly. It doesn't take up too much room inside the bag and I still have a ton more room to put other stuff. I have my Victorine wallet. If you guys are thinking about getting this wallet, definitely check out the review on my channel. It's the perfect wallet for this bag. It holds everything and fits in here so nicely. Next, I have my portable charger. I try not to go anywhere without my portable charger because I hate when my phone dies. Finally, I have this clear pouch. I transfer this pouch from book bag to purse to tote bag to clutch. I keep this pouch all the time. It holds all my small items and I'd rather have them in this clear pouch than floating around anywhere. In the pouch, I keep a ton of stuff actually. it's I keep probably more stuff than I need, but you just would rather be safe than sorry, you know? So first I have some five peppermint gum. I always have some form of breath aid on me, whether it's gum, peppermints, spray, mouthwash. I always have something. Next I have this crest mouthwash sample because again you never know i have this eucerin eczema relief hand cream i have some rice papers these are perfect for makeup blotting the oil and just getting yourself together if you have to go to the bathroom and freshen up while you're out these are perfect i got them off amazon they were only a couple bucks and they come in handy so much i have these emergency packets especially in this weather, I really, really don't want to get sick and the flu has been going around like crazy. I know so many people who had the flu recently, so I keep these emergency packets on me. So if I even get a sniffle after I take medicine, I'll take this later in the day and it just feels better to always have one on me just in case. I have a pen because I don't want to use your pen. I want to use my own. 
So I just keep it in my bag. I have some lactates because I'm lactose intolerant and it sucks when you don't bring them and you're outside and you see something you really want but you can't have it. I haven't been lactose intolerant my whole life so I'm like obsessed with cheese and milk and any of that stuff. It's just honestly, dairy is the best food group. Like it sucks that I'm not supposed to have it. So keep these on me because I'm gonna eat it anyway. So I need to have it. I have a phone charger because I'm carrying my portable charger everywhere and I need to have something to plug it in otherwise that's just stupid. I have a comb, obvious reasons, but this is definitely handy. I got this from the dollar store. It's really small and it fits into all the nooks and crannies of my bags. I have some Laneige lip sleeping mask. Now I actually use my full size lip sleeping mask to refill this little one and I always keep this with me. When it's empty I just refill it and put it back in here. I have this hand sanitizer that I got from Bath & Body Works because germs. I know this isn't killing nearly as many germs as they say it is, so I like to just use this until I can get to an actual sink and then I feel a little bit better. I have this small sample. This is a Versace Bright Crystal sample. I actually got this from one of the Sephora sample boxes. If you guys haven't tried the Sephora um, I think they're like a perfume sampler kit. You pay like 60 bucks and then it comes with a card so you can get a full size one. I love those boxes and it's such a good deal, especially if you use it during a coupon time. Then you can get it for like 55 bucks and then you get a full size and you save like 40 or 50 bucks. It's like the biggest come up. Then I just have like some little mints and that's really all I have in this clear pouch. And this clear pouch is so, so clutch. I have all of that in this bag and it still didn't look stuffed. I think this bag holds honestly the perfect amount of stuff. You can't put too much in it, so it kind of forces you to take just the bare essentials. Well guys, that's it for my review and a quick glimpse into what's in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you were thinking about getting this bag, I hope you definitely make that purchase. I highly recommend it. I think it's a great bag and a nice piece to have that you can keep around for a while to come. As always, be sure to give me this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any opinions about this bag that you want to share. Definitely stop back by next week. I drop a video every week and I really would hate if you missed it.